Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's your boy, King Sanders here. We are back with another day of sports betting. This is going to be for Saturday, January 21st slate of NBA action. I'm super excited to dive into it. Um, we, the only thing is, is right now, we don't really have a whole lot of lines out. Um, and as you guys know, on Saturdays, I do have to record them the night before. There's just no ifs, ifs ands, or buts about it, um, just because I do have to get up pretty early for work on Saturdays. But I will talk about a couple leans that I do have that I don't have lines out for yet. So keep an eye out for those, of course, um, that those will be at the end of the video as well. But um, I did just want to go ahead and say that we are still currently on the road to 11,000 subscribers. We are still currently less than 150 away at the time of recording this video. So if you guys are new, make sure that you guys do like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Next, did just want to go ahead and give a quick shout out here to all of our members here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for everything that you guys do. And thank you guys so much for giving such a small channel such a big chance, as I always say. It truly does mean the absolute world to me so, so much more than you guys will ever know. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into um, just a quick message here. Uh, I I'm, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for not uploading the past couple days. So everybody that does come in to truly like watch my videos and... Um, and truly like you know cares about what i have to say about some of these sports betting picks and stuff i'm sorry that i haven't posted the last two days um the main reason is just because i've been working on a massive project um th this is something that has always been something that i've wanted to do um it's kind of off the rails here from what we normally do here on the channel um, but it is a very very big project that i've been working on many 3 a.m 4 a.m nights as i put on my community tab um We've been we've been having some crazy crazy nights, um, very late, working very hard, but we have so much, and it's going to be announced on Monday. So make sure you guys do stay tuned for that. Um, we have we like the whole thing's just it everything's about to turn. So I'm super excited about it. Um, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and get into the purpose of today's video, which is going to be the sports picks. So we, let's do a quick recap of yesterday. Um, 0 and 2 on the day. Uh, definitely not a good day. Once again, we've been on this absolutely abysmal little streak here, um, and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. So hopefully, so if you guys want, just go ahead and fade me today. You might be profitable, but um, regardless, I do. I did find one play I really like, and there's only lines up for the um, Raptors game as well as the Kuzma and Porzingis props and that's pretty much it we only have a couple other game lines as well so not really too much to go off of um, here at 12 30 in the morning on Saturday so but without any further ado let's dive into a recap we had Jared Allen over nine and a half rebounds versus Golden State Golden State pretty much rested their entire team and it didn't matter Jared Jarrett Allen still only finished with eight rebounds um there's really nothing you can do about this. There was uh, there, there was no reason for him not to be able to hit this over. Um, I guess the smarter play would have been Jordan Poole to go over with all those guys out. But I truly thought that this game was going to be a blowout. I thought that Jared Allen was going to just kind of come into the game, feast for the first half of this game, grab those 10 rebounds, and then we were going to call it a day. But, um, you know, it did not end up working out that way. So that's the only reason I didn't take Poole. I was just worried about the blowout potential and – Jordan Poole said, nah, hold this, and he ended up dropping like 32. So he had a really good game. Then we did end up having John Morant over 27.5 points versus the Lakers at minus 115. Uh, John Morant shot terribly. Uh, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, he started off the game, I think, going into halftime with only six points. I think he finished the first quarter with just two points. And then after that, you know, started to pick things up and finished with 22. But he still shot like nine for, like, he shot like 30. 30%. He, he had a really tough shooting night um, versus this Lakers team. And the Lakers ended up winning, which is absolutely wild to me. But, um, you know, the Grizzlies, John Morant just didn't really get things going until that second half, and it was just too little too late at that point. But, you know, it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and turn things around today. Hopefully we have a winning day today. As always, I will be adding some plays. They will be on my pin, in my pinned comment section and on my Twitter. Um, so make sure you guys do check out both of those spots if you guys haven't already. Um, the first game, the first play that we do have here is going to be in the early game, so it is going to be our King Skill Shot play of the day as well. We're taking Fred Van Fleet. We're going with his under 18 and a half points here versus Boston at minus 105 odds. Now, don't get me wrong, Fred Van Fleet has gone really like highly over this line in three straight games. So. I get it why you guys might be a little bit skeptical about this play, but I really, really do like this play um, because first things first, Fred Van Fleet, he has gone over in those three straight games. He is 
more than likely due for some negative regression here. But also, Fred Van Fleet has gone under in four straight home games where he has not necessarily performed quite as great. He's been going on the road, and he's been absolutely killing these lines. But at home, he's kind of been dialing it back just a little bit, and I think that we see that once again. He has not necessarily performed well against Boston either, just covering in one out of his last five games versus them. So it is a little bit of a tougher matchup here for a guy like Fred Van Fleet. And Boston in the last seven games allowed the 10th fewest points per game to opposing point guards. So they are top 10 in defense at that point guard position, and it totally makes sense. He is going to be matched up on a guy like Marcus Smart, a very, very positive defender. Um, and I think that it's going to be very tough for him. Boston in the last seven games allows the ninth fewest points per game from the three-point line to opposing point guards, which is great in our favor because Fred Van Fleet loves to shoot threes. He averages 8.6 three-pointers attempted per game, and um, I think that this is going to be a really good spot here to be taking his under. He's due for some regression. I know that he's been good, but he's got a very, very tough matchup here, and there's plenty of ways to go under. Um, I know that you know he could always have a bad shooting night. That's an easy way to go under. Also, he has a great defensive matchup in Marcus Smart that is going to make it very, very tough for him. He could look to be more passive. So I do think that there's a that there's a lot of value here. I know that it's only 18 and a half, but this line at one point in time was like down to 17 and a half. And now that he's gone over in three straight, this line really hasn't moved. So I think that I think that the books are trying to tell us this is going to be a tough game here from Fred from Fred Van Fleet. Um, so that is going to be our first official play of the day, our Kings kill shot play of the day. Fred Van Fleet under 18 and a half points here versus Boston a minus 105 odds. Now I am going to talk about two leans that I do have here for um, for this game or for today's slate, I guess you should say. Um, the first one is going to be Benedict Matherin over in points versus the Suns. The Suns allow a lot of points to that shooting guard position, and even with Devin Booker out of the, out of the lineup, that still that has still has not changed. They still have been giving up a lot of points to that shooting guard position, and Tyrese Halliburton is of course still going to be out of that game. And I think we see a ton of shots here from Benedict Matherin. It's just going to be a matter of what his line is. I'm not sure where they're going to set it at yet, but he's had really good games here recently, and I don't expect that to change here versus a struggling Phoenix team. So I do like that play as well. Um, and I do also like Alperin Shangoon over in rebounds plus assists. The Timberwolves do give up a lot of assists to that sh to that center position, which obviously could be in his favor, but not to mention Rudy Gobert is listed as questionable. Of course, if he is out, that is going to be a rebounding body that's off of the floor, leading to a couple more rebounds here from a guy like Shangoon. Both him and Rudy Gobert are both inside centers as well, um, and a lot of the centers on this Timberwolves team are inside centers. So he, Shangoon is going to be sending is going to be spending a lot of his time around the rim. Could lead to a lot of extra rebounds. Um, it's just going to be a matter of if his teammates do end up hitting a shot. So I really do like Shangoon over and rebounds plus assists as well. But unfortunately, we don't have a line for that one either. So um, we do have our consensus play though. We are going to the the Bucks and the Cavs game. Currently, the line ended up opening up at Cavs minus two. Um, and you, if you take a look at the injury report, it looks like Giannis is listed as questionable. Um, Chris Middleton is, of course, still out of this game. And Cat and for the Cavs, Donovan Mitchell is listed as questionable. So I don't really know exactly how this is going to pan out. But with the Cavs being two-point favorites, um, I am going to go ahead and say, save us all some time. I know that we've been bad. The consensus has not hit in like three or four straight days. I think we turn it around today because all five of us are on the Cavs. I'm very, very confident in this one. Um, and I, I personally would have made this an official play if our consensus wasn't already on it. So that is going to be our consensus play of the day. Five cappers to zero on the Cavs. Minus two here versus the Bucks at minus 110. So that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Like I said, we are on the road to 11,000 subscribers and we have some big things coming here for the channel. So if you guys are new, make sure that you guys are subbed. But that's going to do it for me. This is King Center signing out. Peace.